Not a telephone conversation, but a face-to-face -face meeting. The presidents of Ukraine and the United States met at the Intercontinental Hotel in Midtown Manhattan in front of dozens of television cameras. Thank you very much, everybody. We're with the president of Ukraine, and he's made me more famous, and I've made him more famous. <laughs> it's a great pleasure to me to be here, and uh, it's better to be on TV than by phone. Yeah. <laughs> the first working meeting of the two presidents took place in the midst of the so-called telephone scandal, the day before the House of Representatives announced an impeachment investigation against Trump. He is accused of allegedly asking Ukraine to conduct an investigation into the son of Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden in exchange for U.S. military assistance. The White House published a transcript of the conversation on September 25th. Not surprisingly, the first statements by the presidents concerned the telephone conversation on July 25th. I think you read everything. So you, I think you read text. I, uh, I'm sorry, but I, I don't want to be involved to democratic, open uh, um, elections. Elections of USA. No, you heard that we had uh, I think good uh, phone call, it was normal, we spoke about many things, and I, so I think and you read it that nobody pushed, it. pushed me. Yes. In other words, no pressure. President Trump, would you like to do this? No pressure. Mr. President, you know there was, and by the way, you know there was no pressure. All you have to do is see it, what went on on the call. The scandal erupted over financial assistance to Ukraine. Trump explained his decision to withhold nearly 400 million U.S. dollars in aid to Ukraine because he believes the European Union should also provide support to Ukraine. The United States helps Ukraine, but I think that other countries should help Ukraine much more than they're doing. Germany, France, uh, the European Union nations, they really should help you a lot more. And I think maybe together we'll work on that. They have to feel a little bit guilty about it because they don't do what they should be doing. You're very important to the European Union. You're very important, strategically very important. And I think they should spend a lot more in helping Ukraine. And they know that also. And they actually tell me that, but they don't seem to produce. So I'm sure you'll talk to them and I'll certainly be talking to them. On the sidelines of the General Assembly, President Zelensky held dozens of meetings over the past two days. He discussed preparations for a meeting in the Normandy format with German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Zelensky even met Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, although the last meeting, he said, was accidental. Mr. Lavrov approached me and said that he wanted to meet me. He also said that they look forward to the end of the war in the Donbass and congratulated me on the prisoner exchange. I told him that if they are ready, then let's end the war. Give us our territories back and exchange captives. Today, Volodymyr Zelensky is concluding his visit with a working breakfast with the U.S. business representatives. He also plans to visit the 9-11 memorial to honor the victims of the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001. Reported by Yulia Boshko for UATV.